everyone, I am Alessandra Matikan and I will be discussing the language of relations and functions. In math, lagi nating naririnig yung terms na function and relation. Most of the time, confusing yung meaning nitong dalawa kaya napagpapalit siya. Let us start the discussion by defining and comparing the two terms. A relation is a simply a set of ordered pairs like x, y. On the other hand, a function is a special kind of relation in which two distinct pairs have the same first element. Take note, all functions are relations but not all relations are functions. Let me show one example para mas maging clear. 1, comma a, 1, comma b is an example of a relation. 1, comma a, 8, comma b, and 4, comma c is an example of a function. Basically, magikita natin sa example ng relation na it is an ordered pair and sa example ng function na pairs din siya but x corresponds to only one value of y. As we can see, sa example ng function, iba-iba ng first element and bawat pair which simple explains Kung paano nangyari na all functions are relations but not all relations are functions. Maraming iba't ibang uring relasyon sa mundong ito and may a-apply din itong reality na to sa math. Connected or related sa marami at iba't ibang paraan ang mga processes at terms sa math. For example, pwedeng maging related ang set A sa set B kung yung A ay subset ng B or kung yung A ay hindi subset ng B, or kaya naman kung yung A and B ay mayroong at least one element na parehas. Another example. Let A equals to 0, 1, 1, 2, and B equals to 1, 2, 2, 3. Masasabi naman natin dito na yung X sa set A ay related sa Y sa set B, kung yung x ay less than y. Maaari natin sabihin na 0 is related to 1 and 0 is related to 2 and 0 is related to 3 ay totoong related dahil lahat ng x na nabanggit kong example ay less than the y. On the other hand, masasabi natin ang x ay hindi related sa y kung hindi nasusunod yung ito. For example, 1 is not related to 1, 2 is not related to 1, and 2 is not related to 2. Ito ay dahil x is not less than y. Dito makita natin na ginamit yung mga ordered pairs para isubstitute yung x and y sa unang nabigay kanina which is yung x minus y over 2. Yung result sa pinang-subtract na x and y ay dapat isang integer. Dahil kung hindi, ibig sabihin na yung ordered pairs ay hindi element of R. So, sa ginawa natin pagsasubstitute at simple computations, the only ordered pairs that proves to be elements of R are 1 comma 1, 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 2 dahil integers yung kinalalabasan ng results after nila masubstitute next question is 1 related to 3 is 2 related to 3 is 2 related to 2 yes 1 is related to 3 since kapag nagsubstitute siya sa x and y negative 1 yung lalabas which is an integer next question is 2 related to 3 no why? Because kapag sinabstitute yung 2 and 3 as value of x and y, negative 1 have yung magiging result, which is not an integer. Lastly, is 2 related to 2? Yes, 2 comma 2 is an element of R dahil with the same substitution process, integer ang lalabas, which is 0 naman this time. What is domain and codomain of R? Based sa given, ang set A natin dito or yung tinatawag natin domain is yung 1, 2. 
And yung set B naman na tinatawag natin na codomain na nakita natin based sa mga ginagawa nating processes is yung 1,2, 2,3. Para doon sa relation S, since naka-indicate na sa taas na X, Y, S means that X is less than Y. Alam natin agad na yung X values ng set A is i-coconnect lang natin sa Y values sa set B na mas mataas sa kanila. Makikita natin na 1 is connected to 3 and 5, yung 2 is sa 3 and 5, and yung 3 is sa 5 lang. Doon sa relation T, nakalagay na rin sa given yung mga values na do-drawingan natin ng arrow. T equals to 2, 1 and 2, 5. That is why alam natin na yung 2 is lalagyan natin ng arrow papunta 1 and 5. Based sa dalawang diagram example na to, we can say na pwedeng maglabas ng maraming arrow ang isang value sa set A para kumonek sa iba't ibang values sa set B. Another thing na mapapansin natin is pwedeng hindi kompleto yung malalagyan ng arrow sa elements ng set A like okay lang kahit isa lang or basta complete mako-consider pa rin siya as relation. Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. I am Arshid Bulayman from GSC Social Work 1B. This time I will be talking about the science book an element y in b such that x comma y element of f number two for all elements x in a and y and d in b if x comma y element of f and x g element of f then y equal to d properties one and two can be stated less formally as follows a relation f from a to b is a function if and only if number one every element of a is the first element of an ordered pair of f number two no two distinct ordered pairs in f have the same first element more precisely if f is a function from a set a to a set b then given any element x in a property one from the function definition guarantees that there is at least one element of D that is related to X by F and property 2 guarantees that there is at most one such element. This makes it possible to give the element that corresponds to X a spatial name. Notation. If A and B are set and F is a function from A to B, then given any element X in A, the unique element in B that is related to X by F is denoted Fx, which is to read F of X. Sa example A, base sa solution, yung R is hindi function. Bakit hindi function? Kasi yung order pair, yung dalawang order pair, which is 4, 1, and 4, 3 is pare yung first element nila, which is C4. So, kapag pare yung first element ng dalawang order pairs, automatically hindi siya function. So, mag-base naman tayo sa graph. Ito. Si 2 nakatutok kay 5, 4 nakatutok sa dalawa kay 1 and 3. Then, kay 6 nakatutok kay 5. So, ang tawag dito kay 4 na dalawa yung tinutukan is 1 to many. So, kapag 1 to many is the other sign or palatandaan na yun. A second example naman tayo. Si T is function siya. Bakit naging function? Kasi si element na kay 2, 4, and 6 is related just sa ibang element na kay 1, 3, and 5. Then, also, yung ibang elements ni uh, 2, 4, and 6 is hindi nag more than yung elements niya kay 1, 3, and 5. Kaya naging function siya. And also, mag-base naman tayo sa graph. So, ito yung graph. So, kapag ang mangyari is 2 
5. Isa lang yung naging correspondent nila. Unlike yung kanya sa first example, kaya naging many to one. Kaya hindi siya naging function. So, ito naging function siya kasi isa lang yung correspondent niya kay x x to y value. So, also, tandaan natin guys na function, magiging function ang isang problem kapag maging many to one or one to one. Kapag one to many is assigned a not function. Ngayon is nasa function of set of real numbers na tayo. So, sa example na ito is hindi siya function. Sa graph na ito is hindi siya function kasi hindi niya na-satisfy yung property of function. To see why this example does not all satisfy the property. Because the real numbers x such as x, y, not element of p. For any y. For instance, when x equal to 2, there is no real number y so that x squared plus y squared equal to 2 squared plus y squared equal to 4 plus y squared equal to 1. Because if there were, then it would have to be true that y squared equal to negative 3, which is not the case for any real number y. To see why c does not satisfy property, note that for some values of x, there are two distinct values of y, so that x, comma y, elements of c, one way to see this graphically is to observe that there are vertical lines, such as x equal to 1 over 2, that intersect the graph of c at two separate points. 